understand that the video I made yesterday was about gun control, right? And I wasn't meaning it to be about gun control, I was just meaning it to be about gun violence. How people use the use of guns today. There's a light. Anyways. Um, but it ended up being about gun violence. <clears throat> and that's not what I wanted it to be. So, I kind of, I understand now that we shouldn't, gun violence shouldn't really matter. Well, gun, gun violence does, but the more important part is bullying. Yeah, I, I, I know. A lot of people are going to get mad at me for, like, you didn't do, you, you get, did gun violence. Why are you doing bullying? Well, so, for one, I've been bullied almost my whole life by not, not just students, by adults and teachers. And it sucks. <clears throat> Alright, I mean, I got better lighting. Yeah. But, um, let's see. For a lot about bullying, there's better lighting. But, guys, for one that's been bullied, I understand a lot about about it. Never bullied anybody, just just been bullied. And I understand. We all have those moments where we just snap. Where the next person that says something to us is either going to get their ass beat or we're going to tell them off. And personally, personally, I've done that, and no, I don't feel proud of it, but I've done it. And, um, it doesn't feel good, but it feels good to let all of that anger go. You know you're angry because someone pushes you to that limit. You don't just become angry, you know? You don't just be like, oh, kuh, I'm going to decide to be angry. Oh, look, look at me. I'm angry. No, someone has to force you to be angry. Someone has to mess with you to become angry. You can't just decide. And I know I'm saying this a lot, but the video I made yesterday was... Not intentionally, but was about gun control, apparently. And I've been told. But now this, 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 this episode is just going to be about bullying. About not all the personal experiences that I've had, but this should have became this shit. This video should have came first, and then the gun violence video. Because if you if you look at it statistically, can't say the word. Huh? To sit that word. Uh huh. Yeah. A lot of the school shootings and all. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them, some of them relate, all go back to one source, bullying. You don't just go and say, I'm going to shoot up a school. Da-dee-da-dee-da. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. No, you don't. Not even, you don't even have the excuse of being mentally ill for going la-dee-da-dee-da, bang, bang, school, bang, bang. There's no point of you doing that. You shouldn't do that. And I don't see why you would. There's always has to be that snapping point. And we all take control of our snapping points very differently. So, what? We all get mad and fight when our breaking points. We all break down on our breaking points. God forbid, but some of us hurt ourselves because of a breaking point. Do you know how many suicides... Kids killing themselves because of bullying. Just saying, hey, can you please stop messing with me? Can you please stop calling me names? Can you please stop calling me names? That doesn't help. It's never going to help. Saying that won't help. And personally, I've done it all. I've told. i fought back. But it doesn't get any better and personally it I've done everything I've stopped take a deep I took a deep breath and I let it go I let it all happen but it gets to a point where I can't take it anymore where it hurts and 
This video is supposed to be, and it is, is about bullying. And school shootings and suicides. And why all these recent deaths of kids because of bullying. Who remembers that one kid that brought in, brought two knives to school? Threatened to slash and cut kids. You know why he did that? Because he was being bullied. Do you know why the dude at park the parkland or in Florida the shooting a couple months ago? Because he was being messed with and bullied. A lot of these school shootings aren't just so they can get famous. There always has to be a reason. They don't just decide to shoot schools. There has to be an origin to that anger. An origin to you wanting to hurt other students. Other kids. Your own friends. <coughs> there has to be always that breaking point. Some of us, some of our breaking points are farther than others. Some of ours are smaller. But no matter what, we gotta stop. Just because you bully someone doesn't make you big and tough. It makes you small and weak. Praying on, on other students, taking away their life energy and preying on them. Sucking the life force out of them. And it's not a good thing at all. A lot of these school shootings were not just shootings just so they can shoot. A lot of them were because of bullying or them being messed with, either at school or home. And school districts aren't... I was told a lot that back in the day, you were allowed to say, you know what, let's go take care of this and fight. It was okay to fight. And it was okay to stand up for what you believed in. It was okay to feel like you don't have to keep it in. It was okay for you to let it all go. But now, they're raising just a whole bunch of sissy babies. They don't fight. And whenever they do fight, they get punished hard. They don't like when kids stand up for themselves. It's like a moment where the schools, I'm talking about schools, feel powerful. They feel like since we're kids, we have no emotions. We don't have anger. We don't want to let it out, and that's not true. We all got to let that out somehow, some way. And like I said, it's either through fighting, crying, weeping, writing songs or poems. There's always that one way someone lets all that anger go. And not everybody lets it go in the same way. So, what are we going to do? We're going to keep are we going to keep on letting these kids get bullied and these kids take other kids lives? Or are we going to put a stop to this? And I know everybody's like it's a thing that happens, it's life. You got to learn to go through it to get be tougher, to have tough skin. You know what I say? I say screw tough skin. We're human beings. We're not no animals. We gotta treat each other with respect. Respect everybody. School districts now don't let don't let that happen anymore. They keep the kids under their thumbs like a pin. And they don't let if one gets out of line, that kid that's out of line gets in big trouble. And that's not sure how not how it should go. So, how do I say this? If you go to school on Monday, try to speak up. Try to have a big conversation with your teachers. And see if they will let you talk to the whole class. And it doesn't matter if you're afraid or scared. This is the only way the word's going to get spread. Nobody's going to listen to Donald Trump say that what 
he's going to try to stop things. Just because you try to stop something doesn't mean you're going to do it. Just telling a kid to stop is not going to make them stop. you got to give them hard consequences. Make them remember. That's why kids resort to fighting. Because if you strike fear in that bully, if you hurt, if you hit them one good time, they'll remember it forever. Then they will be the ones that will back off. They'll be the ones that feel weak because they know you're not weak anymore. There's always that breaking point. Yeah, I understand that some of y'all don't fight. And some of y'all do, but that shouldn't be the way to handle it. You shouldn't fight. But you know what? These bullies aren't going to stop. Speak up for what you believe in. If you don't, then how are people going to understand what you mean? There is no way that they're ever going to listen. You've got to speak up. Well, I mean... Hey guys, this is just me, me speaking, but, um, yeah, try to speak up at schools, guys, try to alert all your friends that you know bully someone, try to help them not, it's not cool to become a bully, but yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys, peace.